In this video, we will show you how to create advanced pricing rules for your products inside the Zekeke Visual Customizer. The pricing rules allows you to create and add markup prices to your products. But remember, you first need to create a customizable product inside the Zekeke Customizer. Let's go inside Pricing Rules and then select Advanced Pricing. Let's create an advanced pricing rule. Click on Add. Let's give it a name first. Let's call it Denim because we will add it to a Denim product. Here you can create display options for your pricings in order to add more details and information. Name it with a label. Select the pricing structure by, for example, showing the final price with the product price and the customization charge together or show it separate or only the customization charge. You can even select to add the price description. For example, this one. After that, you need to associate the rule with products or even print methods. Let's select the product, the denim jacket. Then you need to create the new rule. Click on the plus. Here you can select the properties. Each pricing can be based on one or more rules and each rule is based on a property. That can be the number of characters in a text element, the amount of use color in a design, the size of the design. There are a lot of properties that you can use and you can play around inside Zekeke. For example, let's select the text length, the number of characters in a text element. After you select the property, you need to select the targets, so you can apply the rule to the full product to a variation of the product. Let's think about sizes like small, medium, or kilograms or ounces, the side of the product, or even the print area. Let's select the full product to select the elements. You can use this feature to limit the calculation to a specific set of texts or Im images. Let's select, in this case, all the text inserted in the customizer. Then you need to select the type. If setup is checked, the price is added only one time, independently for the number of products brought by the customer. If design is checked, then the price is added for each quantity brought. Let's check design. Then select match. If any is checked, only the first matching condition will add a price. If all is checked, then all matching condition will add a separate price. Then you need to select the price type. This is to choose whether the marker price should be a fixed value on the top of a product price or just a percentage of the product price. Let's leave the fixed here and then you need to select the conditions so indicate which price to add based on the property value so in this case the text length let's make it equal like the number of characters to five and put on the price when adding that condition you can click also on product quantity a new row will appear below the condition by clicking the plus button, you can add one or more quantity price tables that will apply the price to this condition and will depend on the product quantities brought by the customer. Let's click on save. Let's save it again. The new rule has been saved successfully. Now let's go inside our store and see if the pricing has been applied successfully. Let's select the product. Let's add the text. As you can see, the pricing has been saved. We see the separate values here with the correct markup price added and the price detail with the example description added before.